tutorial on this donut. Um, on my Twitch or my YouTube page, you should be able to get to my mod page. Um, I believe. If you scroll down, there's my mod list, FS17. You click on that, it takes you to the web page, and it'll also take you to my YouTube page where you should also be able to go to the mod list. Um, and what I'm showing today is this factory pack. Um, if you click on this guy here, there's explanations on everything and like this says always try to hit the eye to see if there's many updates because I've been doing some updates. I added this little trailer in. I added some hitches as well but <clears throat> you're, you're probably going to want all three of these guys. You can start with one of one of these if you want. This one here has got a lot of product in it. It takes flour, sugar, milk, vegetable oil, um, eggs to make donuts. But this guy here only takes uh, some seeds and some water and uh, it's a lot easier to get going. But you do need the master pack. Um, these trailers are specific for this pack. If you had the old coffee pack, this is being updated so it will not cause issues on a multi-fruit map, I don't believe. I haven't found any issues yet. So yeah, like I said, if you just click on this, it'll take you to the Dropbox. And then you're going to want to download, do a direct download. And then I usually just save as right to the desktop. Now here's one thing some people have been having some problems with is be sure that you look inside this guy and make sure it's the actual mod the way I had to do this it's inside of a folder if that makes any sense um, so to give you an idea their folders inside folders so if it if it doesn't have the actual mod right inside of it I'm trying to even figure out how some people are having problems, but let me see if I can... I think what's going on is they're downloading right from here. Save as desktop. And then when they do that, Yeah, it's putting a folder inside the folder. So when you download the mod, it's the easiest way to do it. Like I said, if you go right to my Twitch page and you type in exclamation point mods, it'll bring up my website. And then, like I said, factory pack. Click on the master pack. And then actually click on this guy and then direct download save as desktop save and now it's the actual mod because the, the mod description is on there. I had someone saying they couldn't get some of my stuff to work the reason I did that is it's a lot easier for me to update now I don't have to do completely new links on this web page so anyhow that is the uh, quick and dirty way to download the mods themselves. Let's go right into game and I'll show you how to use these guys. Alright. I can get this to pop up. Got chat going on too, so <clears throat> so I've got a little bit of a mess here. Let's turn our frame drop. Make sure I don't have a bunch of a drop. I was messing around earlier and I was having some issues, but I need to restart the computer because I think I had a bad mod in. But as you can see, I've got quite a cluster of things here, guys, and this can be ran pretty much self-sufficient off of the mods I have out there alone um, I'll kind of show you like this guy here will make seeds because you're going to need seeds and then if you want to make fuel rather than buying it 
you can get my firm runner pack which is in the placeables tab and basically you just put any of these products in here it'll make silage which I don't think you can put back in but it'll make silage and then it'll actually make fuel and I updated these guys so that you can fill up your tank or fill up a tanker and then there's a liquid storage uh, placeables I have as well that you can actually store fuel and water so like I said basically you don't you shouldn't have to buy any water well you're gonna have to come up with water I don't have a water pump in this in this version on FS 15 I had a water pump as well that you supplied with fuel but basically when you go into your mods or actually into placeables or the store I should say there should be a section that says BD mods and this is where everything is at and like I said make sure you look through the descriptions on the website basically you have the coffee bean orchard the coffee bean roaster and it actually shows you right here what what the inputs and outputs are so this guy takes water seed manure and then it will output raw coffee bean um, this guy makes coffee it takes coffee beans and fuel and here's the big one the donut production makes donuts takes flour sugar eggs water milk and vegetable oil and don't worry about the milk you can do this on a vanilla map I'll show you that in a bit to, to get the eggs for the donut production it takes water and it's either corn barley wheat for the food and then it'll produce eggs and it also produces manure that once again you can use at the coffee bean orchard um, now here's all the mills that you need to do the the products for the donut production so the flour mill will take barley or wheat to make flour the milk mill takes I believe that's barley soybean and some flour to, act, to actually make milk if you have the stop milk sale mod then you can use regular milk as well not an issue but this will mill, this will work if you don't have that extra mod I tried to make everything if possible so it doesn't depend on other mods you will need I'll show you in a little bit you are going to need either the NC Raiders uh, tankers the AR pack or the uh, Farmer Andy's coat I believe it is uh, universal but here's a sugar mill it takes corn or sugar beets to make sugar vegetable oil is uh, made from canola sunflower or soybeans and here's here's one of the special trailers this guy uh, rather than doing pallets this is going to manipulate pallets it's going to look like pallets but it is not all the description is down here how it works and once again on the website if you click the info this guy will load any in-game crop you can throw bales on there or wood in there it's got collidable sides it folds down um, the only thing I will warn you and I put that in the description as well if you throw a pallet in here it's going to turn into material it's just it's set up that way it's set up to fill out of a silo and out of a loader bucket so if you throw a seed pallet in there it's going to turn into seed I'm just telling you right now and you're going to have to dump it on the ground or back into a tip point um, here's the coffee house this guy here will sell any product made in this mod so you got your coffee your coffee bean your flour your sugar your eggs your vegetable oil donuts and you can even sell milk if you have the stop sell or just the milk from the milk mill I know it's kind of a weird name milk mill but we'll just call it soy mill how's that and then I also did a smaller trailer I'll probably do another AR type as well but this guy will if you want to start out small it's a little cheaper and you can pull it around the tractor easier rather than having a dolly both these guys I added hitches so you can attach a low or high trailer hitch behind these guys so you could pull a dolly with this guy or you could pull these in combination or you could pull this behind this guy I need to take out this puzzle because or the pieces because that doesn't really matter anymore because it'll hook up to any trailer anyhow I hope that's making any sense um, once again let me go back out so I can show you guys Let's go back to my website so basically if you go to this factor pack I wanted to kind of show you this um, and you hit info it runs down through everything it shows how all this works get rid of this so that's not the one I'm looking for so I'm wasting your time but 
Master pack, coffee pack, here we go. That gives an explanation, I need to fix that. Donut pack maybe? There we go, so let's copy this. I apologize for this. Oops. I'm going to copy this right now and go to the coffee pack. And put that in there. And you just click on them links, it'll take you to the, the mod you need. So that guy's in there, I apologize. That guy's good. Master pack. I don't think I'm going to mess with putting it on there, but sorry about that. So yeah, like I was saying, if you go to the mods, go to factory pack. Now when you click on these guys and hit the info, it's going to give you the links to actually go to get the universal coat or the NC Raiders. And, and the NC Raiders is the same thing, it's just a... Uh, It's just a drop box. It's gonna bring up all the mods in this pack. It's uh, the AR if you're familiar with it. It's very nice. You can back a truck right underneath a pro or right underneath a, a tanker. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. And then the other guy is the Universal Tanks by Farmer Andy. Um, that's a regular mod site you can download it from. You need at least the 1.006. The older ones won't work. It has to be the 1.006 or later. Alright, let's get rid of all this junk. And go back to the game. Alright. So I think we ran through everything. And it's just like, these buildings are big, so you're going to have to find some area to put them. Um, as you can see, you just gotta kind of line it up. If it's red, you can't put it. It's just like any other placeable. But kind of watch what you have. If you move your mouse out, you can kind of put it out in, at a uh, greater distance. And just watch that the ramps are good. You don't have any black or uh, ground up in the middle. Um, I'm on Sonovka. To give you an idea, I was able to put all this stuff on field 18. Yeah, that's a big field, but it's a lot of stuff here. So let's start. By doing the coffee bean, actually, better yet, let's feed the chickens so that we can, uh, so let's go ahead and grab water. And you can take, this is the one of the ARs I was talking about. If you go up, it should pop up as AR equipment. There's a liquid tanker. Um, to buy fuel, you got to have the fuel tanker if you want to go buy it from a fuel station. But this guy should haul fuel right out of the storage. Um, so you don't want this, and then you come all the way over and get the Volvo, and then you can just basically back right underneath these tanks. It attaches and deattaches. I'll bring up my help screen, just like a regular trailer would. Just back in and load them up. So let's go ahead. I've already got some water stored here, and I'll show you real quick how this works. You start loading water on this side, and it actually tells you load water and it'll bring up up in the menu up there above I can't use my mouse but it'll actually say start loading water from there and from this side and this is in the placeable as well under the liquid storage and there it'll say start on loading water so that guy's pretty simple nothing special the cool thing about the Andy tank just gives you a little bit more realism It doesn't unload as fast as this guy, but the cool thing about it is when you pull up here, a little hose pops out. So that's kind of a cool little addition. But as you can see, it feels a lot slower. So um, we can go ahead and fill that guy up. So let's just go ahead and throw some water in the eggs. As you can see, there is a ton of buildings. I have them strung out across this field. So the egg production is going to look like the straw barn, because that's what it is. 
of the end game. And everything is laid out right on the ground, unload water, unload wheat, corn, or barley for your food. Here's where you pick up your manure. And thanks to Stevie or Marhu, I'm not sure this is one of the only things I forgot to pull out that wasn't either in game or something I modeled. So credit to them, the Silo Master. That's where you pick up your manure. And this is where you would load your eggs. And then once we start dumping stuff in here, you're going to see uh, chickens pop up and the water will start to fill. So, like I said, you just pull in here. And you'll get the liquid on water start. i got to fix that description, but no big deal. It should say on load water. So you should add water. Let's back this guy out of the way. And all these, all these uh, placeables, if you want to use Andy's little tanker, it'll have a little hose that pops right there. I'll show you quick. Must have up to my capacity because I don't think this guy usually hauls a hundred thousand. <laughs> but yeah, it should say on load water up there. I don't. I'll have to fix the description. No big deal. As you can see, you have a hose going in there. So I'll go ahead and let that guy go. And then these guys are just the smaller version, like I was talking about. I have a little placeable over here that I can grab some barley. I actually just grab wheat. As you can see, for the in-game fruit stuff, it'll just pop up as the old little like potato pallets. And if it's a fruit it doesn't understand, it'll just be a blank one. No big deal. And like I said, these guys, it's once again, you go into your mods, go to the BD mods, and there are these specific trailers. Um, no, not to be confused with the tippers here. It's a little different, it's a lot cheaper, and it actually hauls all the extra fruits. So we'll run over here and throw some wheat. So, and eventually, if I can sneak around here, see the chickens start popping up. And then the display board, I think, is on the other end. Everything should have a display board. There's your amount of water. There's your amount of food. Um, manure must be on the other end. That's how many eggs actually there's already eggs being produced. You can hear the chickens chickens clucking. As soon as that screen pops on, it's actually producing. So and there's your basically your, your barley, wheat, corn, water, manure, and eggs. And as you can see up in the help menu. Barley, wheat, corn is your food. I'm gonna shut off that for now because we're not seeming to have a problem. So you're making eggs and manure. Can go ahead and grab. Let's get this guy out of the way. Let's go grab a larger amount of wheat. Or actually, we can grab corn. This guy hauls 60,000 compared to the, what, 15,000 the other guy. And if you hold the bumper on an Xbox controller and the left bumper and hit A, it'll actually fold these racks out of the way. That way if you want to throw wood in there or haul bales, it's kind of nice. And it also works. It's a little tight here in spots. You can actually push yourself away from the edges of things. <laughs> Alright, let's 
this guy is in the way. If you keep it on flat ground, it's not too bad. You start getting on some uneven ground, it gets a little goofy. And that's that becomes an issue placing these. I had to make the ramps really long just in case guys got them in an awkward spot. So, as you can see, the pallets just disappear rather than the trailer extra tipping. Like I said, you can push things away by doing that if you want. All the chickens are starting to show up. I don't think I have a manure fill type in this, but it will, as you can see, when you start loading. It just makes it a plain wood box, but you can see the manure down in the hood. Since we have a little manure, let's run over to the orchard, if I can find it. Figure out where I put that thing. Over here it is. And this guy was pretty much based off a of Def Gamer. He's one of the guys responsible for my madness of starting all this stuff. He likes coffee, so I made him a coffee orchard. As you can see, when you start putting the manure in, the trees start to show up, even though there's no water yet. Miniature cherry trees, but the work is coffee bushes today. So let's go ahead and grab this guy and go get some water. And you can also, let's see where the closest water source is. I've been using teleport, but I don't want to cause an issue. Let's go ahead and just run over here. See if we can manage not to drown this truck. Like I can drive in, maybe not there. This ought to work. Let's see if we can get stuck. Come on. Let's see if we can get back up this hill. <laughs> Without crashing and burning. Oh yeah. So that's how you can fill all the water. I don't know that you can do that with the uh, coat tanks. That's the only thing I haven't really tested. So you might want to get this guy anyway. I'm trying to remember how that works. You can see that's where it should say. It should say start unloading water. So we're going to dump the water. As you can see, the water totes start showing up. And since the other guy is a little bigger, go ahead and grab some water with him. And while we're waiting on that, we'll go grab some seeds. And then that's the other little point. If you go to my placeables, there is a seed production building. Um, it, take, it should take any vanilla fruit, as I call it. So I think they're listed up here actually. Canola, sunflower, soybean, corn, wheat, and barley. You dump it over here. And then you can actually load your cedar here or a tipper here. The tipper can load either either location, but the cedar's a little bit. Some of the cedars load out of the silo, but I know they'll load out of here because the other issue I had had in the past is uh, you could start filling the cedar if it was empty, but then you couldn't top it off with fertilizer or vice versa. I've got a ver fertilizer placeable as well. If it already has seed in it, you couldn't go place any fertilizer out of a silo trigger. You had to actually fill it with an auger wagon, but I fixed that with this guy. So I'm going to load some seed up. 
And you can buy it at the store as well if you want. Now, if you come across, I'll show you an example. You got to kind of watch it with fabric. This is the name of the script. If you're not familiar with it, if you drive across this trigger right here, the dump manure the issue you can have when you get to here is a lot of times it's not going to give you the dump trigger, so you have to actually pull up and back back up. And that's kind of why I offset them a little bit. So you could actually get to this guy from the other way without having that issue. I could have moved this seat a f little further away, it wouldn't have been a problem either. But So if you come right into it, you're fine. But if you cross over another one, that's when you run into issues. And that's where you'll see the little pallets pop up. And it should be making seeds here, short or uh, coffee bean here shortly. Speed up time a little. Yeah, I got a little bit of black numbers there. First I've noticed that too. So yeah, we have water, seed, manure, and we're making some coffee, raw coffee bean. And I'll start popping up some pallets for visual reasons around here. Then you can either use this guy. Or this guy to pick them up. Let's go ahead and grab some more seed while we're here. Hitch I added onto this guy. It's not pretty, but a little ball hitch. <laughs> All right, so if we spin around, I think I can climb this little ledge. Nope. Not much for driving. Pops up to load. Now we have our actual raw coffee bean. So now we can take the raw coffee bean. bit of bump there. Over to the coffee roaster as uh, DG's big old mug up there. So this is where you load coffee. We need to unload the coffee bean here. Like so. And it needs fuel. And if you ever have any questions on it, even if you don't look at the menu, you can come over to this guy here. When you walk up to it, it should say up in that menu right there, your help menu. It says coffee bean and fuel, so we need to get some fuel. So let's go ahead, let's go drop this off while we're thinking about it. Some fuel, which I about forgot. Can come over here and grab some fuel from here. Oops, I'm on the wrong side. Next to this guy will refill your tank and your vehicle, or you can fill a fuel tanker. I can get him up there because, like I said, you want to make sure you get a flat ground or this happens. Not much fuel in them. As you can see with all my other mods, you can basically run without having to spend money. You just have to have product. So that's the donuts. Where's the. I passed it up. Just run over here. Start unloading fuel. Then we should, if I can remember where the sign is, we 
there you go we have fuel and we're slowly making or we already ran out of coffee raw coffee beans and we made some roasted coffee so let's go ahead and uh, let's get some more coffee going got a few more here got all the water we gotta get some manure probably and there probably isn't enough manure here yet a little bit Let's go get a load of manure from the silo. And you can pull these trailers with a regular semi as well. I just want to be able to drive faster. This uh, Volvo's hopped up a little bit. Crash, wrecking semis. You see, the more manure you get, the more the trees start popping up. Speed time up a little bit. doesn't take too many seeds it takes a little bit of manure and some water but the seeds should last you a pretty good amount of time swing back over here this guy out of the way probably didn't need to have 15 vehicles on the map and this guy produces uh, actually has a little burner over here as well start making some noise and start getting the coffee bean the actual roasted coffee over here. So you got a little burner goes. A little animation there. Actually if you jump in this guy and get up high enough. You see the golf coffee beans flipping around as well. So, that's that guy. Now, if we want to actually get the product, same thing. You can take this trailer or the small trailer. Swing over here. Once again on the ground, so load coffee here. And it shows you that you use the trailer. load it up and we go find the coffee shop which it should actually pop up right on the the PDA where it says DG's coffee house so it's right behind us and once again this guy will take any product you make except for fuel because that's a separate little deal I'd 
didn't add that in obviously, but milk, coffee bean, flour. And it has a pretty good profit. It got 2900 Made you 10000 so it's real good money. Probably ought to tone that down a bit. So that's the coffee bean section. Um, now we can move on to the donut. It's going to be a little while going through this whole process. So we'll start with some wheat. Let's see if we can find each one of these guys. <clears throat> Kind of color coordinated a little bit, but right on the front, if you look on the front of the building, it's also up here, the whitest sugar. The yellow is vegetable oil, green is for milk, because it's soy milk. And the other kind of white is your flour. That's actually low, but you can see right on the edge of the building it says flour. To get on the ground it tells you dump wheat or barley. <clears throat> this takes nothing else to run this guy. All you gotta do is dump in the product and it'll fire up. When the windmill starts turning or the screen lights up, like so, it's off and running. At night, there's a beacon light, I can show you that as well. Let's go get, what do we got next? Let's get some soybean for some soy milk. Once again, everything is marked on the ground. Barley, sunflower, and soybean. I looked it all up. That stuff can all be used to make milk. Believe it or not. A little bit of realism to it. <laughs> I don't have almonds. I should make almond trees. Oh, uh, Let's go get some vegetable. I think canola is one of the ones I added. Obviously, canola oil. Up for vegetable oil. Let's run over there and see what that takes. So many of these buildings, I forget myself. Yeah, it takes soybean, canola, or sunflower over here as well. So it takes some expensive crops, but once again, it's going to make you some money. I think all we have left is sugar, and for that, it's a little more picky. I didn't really have a whole lot. Of, I thought about adding potatoes to it, but I thought, eh, it's kind of odd for sugar. I did add corn. figured like corn syrup, you know. But we need either corn or sugar beet to start this guy up for sugar. Products are started. 
Another thing we need to check on is the eggs. Which are over here. Let's see how many we have. I got 26,000 liters. Go ahead and fill the eggs up. production building. I think I got all these triggers far enough apart you shouldn't have any issues getting too close to anything. All the liquid triggers work pretty nice. You don't have to worry about overlapping. If you come from this way you definitely don't have to worry about it but I don't think this trailer is long enough to cause an issue from this target over here or trigger. I think I pulled away enough. We're okay. But yeah your eggs pull right here. Dump them, it'll pop up off to the side. <coughs> Go get some flour and sugar. Here's where it's kind of nice, you can actually take these guys. They will not load two products at one time, that's the only drawback of doing the pallets this way. I apologize for that, but I don't know the scripting involved to get a trailer to lo load two different products. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop this. And this guy here I made so you can actually hook anything to the front or back. If you want to get real fancy and back them up this way. Which it's all backwards now, I can't even figure it out. <laughs> this is the MLB pack, you can choose any one of your baseball teams if you want. Or leave it blank. There's an NFL pack as well. Okay, so we're going to go grab some flour and sugar. You can see if you try to pull in here, it's not going to load. It won't even give you. You got to pull up the next trailer. I so said you can't load more than one product each in each trailer. So then you come over here. Oh, I crashed. And won't let you dump the right product in the right spot. It'll give you an indicator, but won't let you dump the sugar there. Have to come around to this side. sugar. Now we need water, milk, and vegetable oil. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Got quite a lot of cool stuff on this guy. I do know I've been told that that hose screws up on multiplayer. I don't do a lot of playing as it is, let alone multiplayer. Let's see if we can get around the corner here. <coughs> I got it right, right down. I gotta fix the chicken's water. Before I forget, I think that's the only thing I've seen so far. Kind of odd that's not working. This is all pretty much color coded yellow for vegetable oil, white for milk, and then water is blue.
Okay, so we'll start unloading water. Well, the reason I did the white, somebody's asking Chad, I did the white display because you can see it a little better. Black, black numbers are a little hard to see. So it looks like I need to speed up the windmill on the flower, is it? Yep, so speed up windmill flower. Okay, yeah, black is pretty hard to, to see. I could do like orange or something, but yeah, black gets a little difficult. Driving around in circles, apologize. So let's go grab some milk. Could have put the display by the actual tank. On the little milk, <coughs> and all we need is vegetable oil. Should be this guy here. driving by here so this guy here I still I got this uh, idea from the potato steamer if you guys are familiar with the potato steamer on FS 15 um, I did I couldn't get a hold of the guy it's farmer Andy the same guy that does them tanks about a couple of other things so this guy here is pretty much a wood chipper in reverse and I just made a new tank for it I used to have a round tank it looked a lot better than my model but that's where that stems from. It was the potato steamer and I uh, made a potato chip fryer on a couple of maps. But we turned it into a donut fryer on this map, or on this placeable about said map. So we're gonna run over here to the vegetable oil. Oop, there's a crash. We should start producing some donuts here shortly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into cheat mode here. We're gonna go Start flying here. We're gonna go in dev mode. And we're gonna get up in the air so we can see some stuff. This is kind of cool what this guy does. Speed it up, break it back down. So we should start getting some uh, material flowing out of them pipes, some flour and sugar. The really cool part is the donut balls start falling down here, go down the conveyor, go through the little press, go up another conveyor, dump into the fryer, and the more vegetable oil you have, the higher that is. And they come out the other end into the pallet. You know, starting to get pallets on the left here and then off to the right. But if we watch down here, there you go. You guys start pumping out. I got them on a timer. So it'll turn on and off. So in a nutshell, that's how you make donuts. We'll go get a trailer and pick up the donuts and sell them. I think it's pretty self-explanatory now. You can grab this guy right here, in fact. No more than we're going to have. Pour right here where it says load donuts. There you go. Off to the Deaf Gamer Donut Shop. If 
Make a little money. Now, the only drawback of this guy is I need to change. I think I have a script running that add some things in I'm going to take out but it shows you right now how much milk sells for I'm going to take that out just so it's not an extra script running because it didn't do what I wanted I wanted it to be able to tell you how much it'll give you for the rest of these products but it does not so oh I was wrong it does so I will leave that in there I guess yeah cool I wasn't doing it last time I was messing with it this tells you what it'll, what it'll yeah, see, that's not right, though, I don't think. Yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah, because there's your finished product, 3500 And your donuts are a little more, so. Okay, well, I'll leave that script in. I didn't think it was working. So, cool. That's pretty much it. And like I said, if you want to go around and sell your other products, it's probably set a little high right now. I might adjust them. Of course, not necessarily, because what's... Let's look real quick. What's canola? Yeah, that's probably about right because you're using canola. It's 2,000. And if you go over here, you're only going to get 2,400 for these products. So that's probably about right. I mean, is, like you said, you're going to want to make your own fuel if possible. There's some different fuel mods out there. But, like I said, that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'll run over here just to show you that you can actually sell these products directly if you want. It's not going to make you as much profit. But it will make you a little bit. made pretty decent money off the flour and it's this little bench right here if you guys downloaded the first place the boy I had I forgot to make it static so it was flying around the map <laughs> so I got this guy a little small I wanted <laughs> I could jack the height up a little bit I guess but it'll be all right I didn't want it the, so the placeables are a pain to get down um, on the building so as far as a, a level area if that makes any sense sorry I'm getting tired I'm starting to not even make sense to myself but anyhow I'm gonna jump off you guys are watching me live I'll jump back on I've been doing that quite a bit today but I just want to make this video quick it was about an hour of my typical videos run too long but if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me like I said check out my mod site um, you can contact me on discord as well through there through the contact link um, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I needed it added on because there's been some people a little bit confused about it, I guess. But that hopefully explained it as well as I can. I'll do a couple of fixes, and uh, I'm constantly trying to update things if someone tells me there's something wrong. So, till next time, guys. Like I said, if you're watching live, I'll be right back on.